I got the front bumper off. Now I'm going to remove the intercooler. The intercooler was held on by four bolts. There were two T25 ones. There's one right there and the one over there that held the clips or the mounting clips in place. And underneath, there's a spring clamp. And then you can access it through this hole right here. You just use a flathead screwdriver to unscrew that. The other one is right here. Same thing. Just get a flathead screwdriver and unscrew that. Once those are loose, you can just pull the whole thing out. Um, at the same time, I'm going to do this resonator delete. We have this overpriced piece of metal. So that's essentially aluminum. And if you look in here, I already loosened this. There's a resonator, that big black thing right there. And in order to get that out, there weren't really any instructions, but there's a coolant hose right there. There's like a clip that I pushed. I pushed to the left and then that loosened, so that's free. Behind that, that uh, big black unit has, I believe it might be a T25 that holds it in place. So I'm gonna loosen that. Then this whole thing will be loose. Um, it just, I guess to make it easier for myself, since I already, I already have the, the lower intercooler off, I'm just gonna loosen this and pull this entire piece out. I guess if you were just to replace that yourself, you technically could remove that, um, that clamp in the middle where the camera's pointing to. And underneath here, there's another clamp right there. So you can loosen those two and then pull that resonator out and then put the new, new um, pipe inside. The screw right here was a T25. So what I did was I used this, um, imagine this was gone, but I used this. I was underneath the car. I moved the coolant reservoir as such, and then the, the coolant hose over down there. I just pushed it off to the side so it wasn't in that the way of that bolt. I was underneath the car and I put this in first so I could see that it was uh, actually in. And then once that was in, I used this uh, quarter inch socket and I put it, um, and then I started spinning it. So that's how I got that bolt out. It was kind of a pain in the butt, but I uh, finally got it out. If you're curious to see what it looks like inside this resonator, that's what it looks like. First thing I noticed is that we have some fit mis uh, fitment issues. So if we look at this um, a diameter of this pipe, it's slightly smaller than the hose. Um, I don't know if that will be an issue once I tighten that up. And also this intercooler, or there's this uh, radiator support piece of plastic. I have the radiator, I have the intercooler pushed back as far as I can and it's still not going in. When I tried putting the screw in, there's not enough length. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is buy another screw similar to this that's longer so I can tighten this in place and then I'll tighten these hoses and then we'll see how it goes from there. Same thing on the other side. There's that piece of plastic hitting it so I can't go any further. I'm gonna buy a longer screw um, to hold this in place. I guess this pipe wasn't in the same position as the original one. So when I lined it up with the hose, it was actually kind of twisted. So when I tried tightening this, it wasn't going on straight. So what I had to do was I dremeled part of this. So hopefully when I put this back in place, that it'll seat straight. If you look back here, you can see what I was talking about. This hose was rubbing on that piece of plastic. So I had to drill it. Here it is installed on the car. So first impressions, I want to say that the build quality seems to be decent. I think I checked the welds and they were fine, but if you look at these fins, like there's this huge section that's missing. This pipe seems to be smaller than the hose. So that might be an issue. Hopefully when this is clamped in, there won't be any leaks. Um, another thing was 
that this bracket should have been closer. So right now I have it on, but this piece is hitting the radiator support. That's as far as it'll go. So I need to buy longer bolts for that. But if we were looking at it like this, and the stock one was right here and there, this one is like slightly to the right. So when I put in this hose, it's actually going in further. So I had to chip off a bit of plastic to get this to fit. So other than that, for $170 compared to 800 bucks, I think this isn't, this is a pretty good deal. It should run a lot cooler now compared to the, the dinky little inner cooler that it came with. I also had to relocate the ambient temperature sensor. Originally it was here and it was hitting part of the intercooler. What I did was I drilled a hole in this piece of plastic and I also drilled a hole on the lower piece. So I stuck the ambient temperature in and then I zip tied it and then I'll trim this off.